All right, now we're going to look at a, a very similar problem, but this time instead of set A being listed out by the roster, the roster method, this time we're using set builder. So they've given you that the set A is the set of X's such that X is less than or equal to 5. So this would be all of the numbers 5 and smaller. Set B, they said, is the set of all X's such that X is greater than negative 2. All right. It says that we're going to use these two sets to find both of these problems, then graph the solution. Okay, first of all, they said they want A intersected with B. Well, let's look at set A first uh, on, an, on a number line, uh, sort of. It'll make it a little bit easier here. So if we're talking about the x's that are less than or equal to 5, let's see, 5 would be right about here on our number line, right? Less than or equal to means we'd use a bracket, and the things that are less than 5 would move to the left. So this would be the x's less than or equal to 5. Now, the other set, the x is greater than negative 2. Well, let's see, negative 2 is right about here on our number line. Greater than means we'd move to the right. Because there's no equality here, we would have to use that parenthesis because the endpoint cannot be included. So this is what x greater than negative 2 looks like, roughly. Now, if I want the intersection of both of those things, I'm talking about where both of these sets are overlapping, basically. So if we can picture taking this set and overlapping this set on top of it, where would they meet? Well, they would meet starting at negative 2, but it would be not included, parenthesis on the left, going all the way over to the bracket at 5, all in here is where those things would overlap at. So this is the graph of that solution. If we wanted to write the answer in um, interval notation, so I'm going to write interval notation here. notation, not notational. Interval notation, we can read pretty much right off of the graph. Remember, we're starting here on the left with a parenthesis at negative 2. And then we're going all the way over here to 5, and that has a bracket on it. So our interval notation looks like this. Now, as far as set builder, if they asked us to write our answer in set builder notation, then we would have to say, well, this would be the set of all x's such that because we're talking about these things in the middle or in between, we would start at negative 2, and we're talking about the x's in the middle of negative 2 and 5. Now we have to decide whether we're going to use equals or not. The negative 2 is not included, so we'll just use a less than symbol. And the 5 is included, so we use less than or equal to. So now we, can, we should be able to graph each solution set, write it in interval notation, and also in set builder notation.